Okay, this video is about arithmetic sequences and series. So, what these are, are sequences and series with a common difference. So, they go up or down by the same thing every time. So, a sequence going up in threes, like this one, or a sequence going down in twos, like this one, they are arithmetic sequences. So, we can use this formula here to um, find a term in the sequence. So we need to know what each of these things in the formula means. So A, A is the first term. A is the first term of the sequence. N is the term we're looking for. So um, a term in the sequence. So the term we're looking for, our term. And D is the common difference. So whatever it's going up or down in. So that's D. Okay, so looking at the first sequence over here, uh, A would be 2 because it's the first term. A is 2. And D, the common difference, is 3. So the first term is 2, and it goes up in 3s. So for this sequence, UN is 2 plus n minus 1 times 3. So if we substitute any value of n in, we can find out a term in the sequence. So if I wanted to find the tenth term, so we can write u10, this is a notation, the tenth term is 2 plus 10 minus 1 times 3, which is 2 plus 9 times 3, which is 2 plus 27, which is 29. So we can find any term in the sequence using this formula. So again here, we've got A is 9, and this time the common difference is minus 2. So for this sequence, um, UN is 9 plus N minus 1 times minus 2. So again, if I wanted to find the tenth term of this sequence, which I'll call u10, the tenth term, u10, is 9 plus 10 minus 1 times minus 2, which is 9 plus 9 lots of minus 2, which is 9 minus 18, which is minus 9. So the tenth term of this second sequence is minus 9. Okay, so we're going to practice using the formula. So we've got the formula up here. UN is A plus N minus 1 times the difference. So A, the first term is 3, and it goes up in 5s. What is the fifth term? So U5, the fifth term, is A, 3, plus N minus 1. So that we want the fifth term, so N is 5. 5 minus 1. Lots of D, which is 5. So it's 3 plus 4 fives. 4 fives are 20, plus 3, 23. Secondly, we've, got, we've been given two terms in the sequence, and we need to find the first term and the common difference. So this is simultaneous equations. We've got um, two equations. Well, when we make them, we've got two equations and two unknowns the first term and the common difference. So u3 is 10, so we've got n is 3, so 10, u3 equals 10, so we're going to change this to 10, equals a plus 3 minus 1, All right, 3 minus 1 times d, so 10 equals a plus 2d. Secondly, 31 equals a plus 6 minus 1, because n is 6 for this one. 6 minus 1 times d. 31 is a plus 5d. And so we've got simultaneous equations. Um, what we can do is we can write um, this first one here underneath the second one and take away. So we've got 21, the a's cancel, equals 
D. So D must be 7. And I can use that D is 7, and I'll substitute it in. A plus 2 sevens. 10 equals A plus 14. Minus 14 from both sides, so A must be minus 4. Okay, so the same sort of questions. You can pause the video and give them a go. Okay, so A is 8, D is minus 3. We need to find the fifth term. So the fifth term is called U5. Uh, is A plus 5 minus 1 times D, which is minus 3. So 8 plus 4 times minus 3. Uh, 8 minus 12. 8 minus 12 is minus 4. Uh, given U2, second term is 20, and U6, the sixth term, is 44, we need to find A and D. So the twin, uh, sorry, 20 is the second term, so 20 is A plus N minus 1, so 2 minus 1, which is 1, D. And 44 is A plus N minus 1, so 6 minus 1. Five, lots of the difference. So we've got simultaneous equations. I'm going to write um, the first one under the second one. Take away. So 24 equals 4D. Divide both sides by 4. D is 6. So 20 equals A plus 6. So A must be 14.